Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we'll be covering case statement in uh, Linux shell scripting. So if if you've ever worked with C, C has something very similar uh, construct flow control basically called switch case, right? And case is very similar to, I mean, when, uh, when we'll write the script, you'll see it's very similar to if statement in any language, even in bash, but it's a lot cleaner and it gets uh, work done when when i mean instead of doing multiple if statement you can actually use case and it, it looks very clean uh, in that term so i'll give you a quick quick example right so say suppose i set up a variable called name and i set it to say what hello right and then the, the first example i'm just doing it on terminal and the next example we'll write a shell script right so i can start the case statement you start with the keyword case and basically in case you have a string basically you take a, a variable and compare it to a pattern right you you basically make a comparison you compare it to a pattern so you have uh, an expression and you just compare it to some pattern and based on that you write the code right what what you want to achieve uh, an example would actually make it very clear so case uh, and we have our expression which is dollar name and then you have a in keyword right so the first thing is I'll just check if this is equal to hello. So this would be a very short example. Uh, hello. And you close this with a, a brace basically. And then you say I want to echo your name is hello. Right? Very basic thing. And then you put two semicolons which basically marks the end of the statement right now say next comparison which i want to make is with nothing and this is actually not a very good example but the script will which will write probably makes more will more will make more sense right uh, nothing you can then again say echo your name is nothing and for any other thing uh, how do we denote that we denote it with an asterisk uh, just echo invalid although we know the output of this uh, program it would be the first one because we only have set the name to hello but suppose you're taking an input from a user and you know that name would be different every time so making that comparison would actually be a lot will make a lot more sense then so invalid user right <coughs> close this and then you close the case statement just like if uh, we close the if with an oppositive which is phi and similarly we do it with case which is isac opposite of case oh, so not opposite reverse of case so you can see it just echoed out your name is hello because it only matched with this particular pattern right so let's quickly write a script uh, let me clear the screen so let's write a script, uh, call it case example.sh, right? And let's define our shebang. So let's write a very, I mean, short script, which will make the concept very clear, right? So I can do something like echo input month right and then i can take the input of the reader using read so i know we have not covered read uh, that's basically the next topic or maybe after the next topic but read basically you use to take input from the user that's a short we'll cover it in detail in up the, in the upcoming videos so we'll just read month which will take in the input from the user and save it into the month variable right now we can do case dollar month in and then we'll start our say Jan and pipe symbol defines the or statement so Jan Mar pipe uh, April May right pipe July Okay, 
just five October five December right so if the month is any of these months what are we going to do we're going to just echo out this month has 31 days right and close the first condition and then we'll move on to the next one uh, then we'll do something like APR by June we have September by the way I just noticed that we have very few months with 30 days right that's sad we have to uh, work one extra day September November did I miss anything April May June July, August, September, October, November. Yeah. All right. So then we can echo out. This month has 30 days. Right. And we close it. And for anything else, we know we are only left with Feb, right? So we'll just echo out. This month has. And the star is basically if you compare it to if something like else in if state in, in if uh, flow control, right? So this month has 28 slash 29 days. Let's close it and then we'll just suck it. And that's pretty much it. Let's save this. We'll do mod plus x to our case as g. And let's run input month. I'll give it Jan. This month has 31 days. Again, we'll run it. I'll give it Nov. And this month has 30 days. <coughs> and for anything else, although you could have uh, put in a lot of checks, right? Say I would say X. This month has 28, 29 days. So this is one thing. You can basically make checks to check that the input is actually the month, a uh, legal month, right? All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. I know this was a short uh, introduction to case, but you would see case being used a lot in shell scripting. And it actually comes in very handy when you have multiple uh, conditions and instead of doing a lot of else if, else if, right? Which makes your uh, shell script actually lengthy and not so good to look at case comes in very handy in those situations so that's pretty much it for this video i hope you guys like the video i hope you guys are liking the series please feel free to give me some feedback on the videos right what whatever what is that you're liking what is that you don't you don't like and what is that you want me to cover right so it gives me good uh, motivation actually to do these videos all right so Please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching.